Words to start a paragraph. What is a sentence starter in a paragraph? A sentence starter is a phrase that comes at the beginning of a sentence and gives readers the direction of the text. Readers get to understand what to expect in the entire sentence. Sentence starters play a huge role in unifying ideas and topics within a paragraph or essay. Sentence starters are present in all sentences. Nonetheless, this guide will only look at sentence starters at the beginning of a paragraph, not in all the sentences. This type of sentence starter can be termed a paragraph starter. These words that start a paragraph are also more or less like transitions. So, if you know a thing or two about transitions, you get what we are saying. If the phrase transitions is new to you, click it to see what it means. The trick for writing amazing paragraphs is incorporating different sentence starters. Different in what essence? Continue reading, and you'll see 12 different types. Afterward, we'll explain tips on how to start a paragraph, words you should not use when starting a paragraph, the widespread mistakes that you ought to stay away from. 1. Cause and effect sentence starters in paragraphs. Are you wondering about the best sentence starters for paragraphs in a cause and effect essay? Then wonder no more. The best words to use include since, as a result, therefore, because, subsequently, for this reason. 2. Paragraph starters for adding extra points or explanations. If your paragraph is adding a new point or furthering a specific argument, then you'll go to words to introduce the paragraph are, also, additionally, furthermore, moreover, likewise, then. 3. Words to start with when explaining a list or sequence. When writing an essay about a series of events or a list of items, it is vital to use sentence starters suited for this kind of essay. Some of these sentence starters are next, later, afterward, subsequently, one, two, three, etc., first, second, third, etc. Four, excellent paragraph starters for references. You can use the words below when starting a paragraph with a citation according to, bestowing to, as explained by, based on the results of, as indicated by. 5. Paragraph starters for showing an era. Use the following words to explain an event that happened in the past or present, recently, initially, traditionally, in the past, historically. 6. Comparison and comparing sentence starters in paragraphs. If your paragraph involves comparing and contrasting, you can use the following words when starting your paragraph, however. On the other hand, in comparison, rater, whereas, outside of. 7. Paragraph starters for mentioning examples. Are you thinking about what is a good sentence starter for introducing examples? Then, we have an answer for you. You can use any of the following words, for instance, such as, to illustrate this, in this case, specifically, this can be seen, it is worth noting that we offer academic help services to all students. Place an order with us if you need one of our experts to write your essay or paper or provide you with answers to your homework. 8. Paragraph starters for showing emphasis. Sentence starters for indicating emphasis are not always needed, but it is a good idea to incorporate them when you want a certain point to stand out among your readers. Some of the words for these sentence starters are, namely, indeed, above all, obviously, undoubtedly, generally speaking, these sentence starters are common in texts like articles, narratives, novels, and short stories. Emphasis words are rare in essays and research papers, as many lecturers are against their use. 9. Paragraph starters for widespread and rare concepts. When writing a paragraph explaining a common or exceedingly rare idea, you may use the following starters, usually, unusually, on occasion, rarely, a few, seldom. 10. Paragraph starters for displaying doubt or inconclusive ideas. In case the idea you are writing about is inconclusive or uncertain, use the words below to make it easy for your readers to see the doubt. Arguably, perhaps, it is possible that 
although not proven, it may be that. 11. Paragraph starters for time and order. If you are portraying the order or time of certain events, the following words will be beneficial when starting paragraphs, finally, afterward, earlier, to begin with, firstly, secondly, thirdly, additionally. 12. Words for starting a conclusion. There are two main ways of indicating the conclusion paragraph in a text. One way is having a conclusion subheading or its synonyms, such as summary. The other way is using paragraph starters for conclusions, namely, in summary, in conclusion, overall, in short, to wrap things up, all in all, do you know the strategies for writing the conclusion of an essay? Tips for using paragraph starters. It is not a must to use the above special paragraph starters. In other cases, you will just use ordinary words. So, how do you know when to use a special or an ordinary word? Easy. If there is a good flow of paragraphs from one to another, then a special paragraph starter is not needed. However, consider adding special words if the paragraphs or essay seem off. If you use special paragraph starters or words, be mindful of the following. Do not use one word repeatedly. At least try to use another word. You can look for replacement for the word by identifying its category from the above lists and picking any other word in its category. Ask yourself the following questions when having a hard time determining an excellent word to start a sentence. Is it a conclusion paragraph? What type of essay is it? A cause-effect essay or a compare-contrast essay? How does the paragraph relate to the subsequent one? Are you adding a new idea? Do you need to stress an idea? In almost all cases in the body section, the first sentence of a paragraph is a claim. Throughout this guide, we have shown you what a good sentence starter is. If you want to know more about writing conclusion starters, we have written an article about the best conclusion paragraph starters for college essays.